Hi, my name is Virtual Rook, and today we're going to be talking about why Unreal Engine 5.1 is such a big deal for the VR community. If you've been following my channel, you probably know that I'm a little obsessed with VR. And if you haven't been following my channel, you should hit the subscribe button down below. So why is 5.1 such a big leap for VR? Well, to cover that, I think that we should first look back on why version 5.0 was such a big deal for the game industry. You see, Unreal Engine 5.0 brought two new technologies to game developers that we had never seen before, Nanite and Lumen. In layman's terms, Nanite takes high definition objects like buildings, trees, vending machines, and boils them down into objects that your video card can render at a high frame rate without bursting into flames. And Lumen changes the way that we do lighting in video games. Before, whenever you would light a scene, you would have to bake the lighting down to save on render time. This was great until you had to move the lights or introduce a new light into the scene, because then you would have to rebake it. You could change the light to movable, but at the cost of frame rate. With Lumen, all lights are movable, and we get proper light bounces, shadows, reflections, all while maintaining a steady frame rate. Lumen is a pretty big deal to make your games feel alive and realistic. Now that I've talked about all the cool stuff the 5.0 brought to game developers, I have the sad news. You see, Nanite and Lumen just didn't work in VR. Like, I get it. They wanted to focus on making sure in the 5.0 release that these awesome tools were working for the entire game industry right off the bat, and it was really important to nail that down before they switched to VR. And as much as I wish that that amount of time would be put into the VR side of things, I understand that my excitement for these things are very much so from an enthusiast's point of view rather than a consumer or designer's point of view. But wait! Here comes Unreal Engine 5.1. Sort of. It's in preview mode, so there's still a lot of bug fixes and a lot of things that they need to work out till it's ready for, like, prime time. But it still has given us our first glimpse at what Nana and Lumen in VR could look like. Creators like Alex Columbi and Sahid Safkahani on Twitter have already started to do amazing things with 5.1 in VR. Imagine picking up glowing flares and throwing them into dark rooms in order to light your way in VR. Or being surrounded on all sides by hyper-realistic cave systems. This is what I think VR should be, and soon I think that it's what VR will be. Now before we all get hyper-pumped about what this could mean for the VR industry, I should say that this will only work on a really good computer, so it's not going to work on standalone headsets. And as much as I'd love to say that one day it just might, I really don't know. For now, we'll just have to hope that VR game streaming, like Plutosphere, will be able to bring high definition games like this to standalone headsets. But if you have a PC that is VR ready, I highly encourage you to just install 5.1 and play around with it for a little bit. See potentially what the future for VR holds. The amazing Alex Columbia has a video that I will link down below that shows you how to get started so you can have Nanite and Lumen working inside of your VR scenes. And that's it for now. What do you think about 5.1? Do you think that VR is finally potentially going to catch up to console graphics? Let me know down below. And if you have any questions about VR or the industry in general, leave those down below too. I would love to answer questions in a follow-up video. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button. We just hit 200 subscribers and I can't wait to see us hit 500. And until the next video, bye for now.